All right, let me show you just a couple of things to do. So we'll start from the top, we'll work our way down. In the header, the header is up here. And if you look on page two, you see there's some space here. That's because you're gonna have a one inch margin here, but this margin is only half an inch. So if you see that this is sitting too close to here, then you've got a problem that needs to be fixed. How do you fix that? That goes to our page formatting. And here's format. We've got text, you know, if we want to bold, and there's other ways to do that. Paragraph styles, which I wouldn't mess with. Aligning and indenting, which we'll come back to in a minute. Uh, line spacing, columns, headers and footers. If you click header and footer, that's where you want to make sure that this says 0.5 and not one okay so if this is sitting too close go to format headers and footers and make sure this says 0.5 now i could fix all of these things for you but these are things that you need to learn on your own number two most people who and most things you read about your research papers will say to use Times New Roman. Well, that's what MLA says as an example of a standard font. It's not the font you have to use. You may have a teacher that tells you, use Times New Roman. Me, I like Georgia better. Since I have to read it, that's what you're gonna use. Now, back to this page number. When you double click, and you could hear my mouse double click, I double click up here, I move into the header, you see? And if I double click down here, I'm in the footer. We're not using the footer for anything. But you're just gonna type your last name. And then, and I'll go ahead and take this out. Type your last name, space bar, go to here to insert, click it, go all the way down to page numbers, and then right up here, you're going to click that. That will make it automatically put your last name and the page number on every page. However, I think it looks kind of silly to be on the first page. So click different first page. It hides it from the first page, but it still shows up on every other page. Number two, let's talk about the correct way to double space. You don't type a line and hit enter, type and hit enter, type and hit enter, type and hit enter, type and hit enter. One, it's not the right way to do it. And two, it'll actually cause some problems. So here's how you fix it. Let's get rid of these extra spaces. Highlight the whole thing. Go up here to format. Oh, now notice something. When I highlighted that, you see how this is empty? That means there's more than one type of font being used. So I'll go back here, click Georgia, go back here, click 12, and wherever it was that that was wrong, it's now fixed. Okay, to double space, highlight everything, click Format, go down to Line Spacing, come across, double, and now it's double spaced. There's another way to do that, but that's an easy way to do it. We keep working our way down. Notice that I spell out the word, the month. Don't use the numeral. This is the format to use. Not 4-19-21. That's the incorrect format. I want you to have a clever title. We know the expression living the sweet life. That means you're living the good life. Mr. Hershey also made chocolate, and that's pretty sweet. So this is a clever title. Once upon a time when the very first person wrote clever title for their clever title, it was pretty funny. But that was uh, 217 years ago. You now need to actually write a clever title. This one's clever. 
yours should be clever as well. We go on down here. We've got our sections. Now, it doesn't say section two. It just says early life and childhood. I don't want it to say section two. As I read through this, I'm going to look for citations. Now, I know that Duxters is not the author's last name, and I know it's not the title of the article. So right away, this is going to get sent back because that needs to be fixed. We keep on, ah, Sephira, there's a last name. That's good. Uh, here's another heading. And I like, yeah, to have some extra space in there. It doesn't impact your word count or anything. We keep on going. Everything's fine. Now, notice right here that impact on the world is stuck there all by itself. That's no good. I'm going to put my cursor here. I'm going to hit two buttons, Control and Enter. And now it's on the new page. I think there's another way you can go insert and uh, break and page break. But look what it says next to page break. Control and enter. It's a keyboard shortcut. Because I don't want impact on the world being up here and the actual paragraph on another page. Keep on scrolling. Everything's going well. Now, you notice how we have impact is capitalized, W is capitalized. We want all the keywords to be capitalized. And these are things I may catch it on your paper, I may not. I've got, what, 50 something, seventh and eighth graders, all of them to read during the same week. I don't always catch everything. That's where you get to do some proofreading. All right, now we get down here. You see how Works Cited is on the same page with the text. We don't want that. We're going to click our cursor right there. And what two buttons I'm going to hit? Control, Enter. That's right. We want that to be on its own page. Now, this is all, they call it left justified. It's all on the left-hand margin. We don't want that. How do I fix it? Easy peasy. Highlight the whole thing. I'm going to go up here again to format. And now I'm looking for a line and indent. And right here I have indentation options. Don't click any of these. Indentation options. Click it. Make sure these both have a zero. Put in zeros. Click under special indent, hanging. It should automatically say 0.5. If not, make it say 0.5. Hit apply, and ta-da, everything's indented the way it's supposed to be. That's the stuff I think that you need to know. These are the things that I've been seeing in my first glance for them, in addition to papers just being way too short. Remember, your minimum is 1,250 words for six sections. Each section has a minimum word count. So if you do a word count, and that word count does not include the work cited, you make sure that each section has the right amount of words. And really, it's the right amount of information. Okay, so for two weeks, um, we're going to be finishing up this paper and other things all right 10 minute video is over Have a